Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a Primark haul. So let's get cracking. Hiya, so I went to Primark and I had such a nice time. You know, as long as you've got the right mindset for Primark at the moment, it's okay. You know, I'm expecting that I'm going to have to queue for ages. I'm expecting that sometimes I might have to queue to get in. But on the whole, I had quite a nice time, you know, because I've, like I say, I've accepted that. So anyway, I had a look around all the sections of it because I had some stuff to take back from my last haul. Um, so while I were looking around anyway, I found loads and loads of things. So I'll show you what I got. I put my gigs on. So these are my ones I got gifted. So they make my eyes look massive because they're my proper prescription, you know. I'm, I'm going with it. So I'll show you what I got. Okay, I'll show you some clothes first, but I didn't just buy clothes and I certainly didn't just buy clothes for me. So first up, I saw this shirt and I really liked it. It's like this beautiful sort of dusky blue colour. It's got broad angle on it and it's not a very long shirt. It's quite creased from being in the bag. But yeah, it were a, I bought it in a size 14 and it was £13. Because if you don't know, the moment I'm about a size 14, um, I'm slimming. So I got up to about a 16 because of what everything that happened. I'm trying to get back to the 12 hour before all this. I've always been sort of a 12. Usually that's the size I am. So um, yeah, it's got quite a high neck, but it's got these buttons at the front. And I was just checking to make sure these buttons actually did open because otherwise I'd have never got my head through it, you know. So anyway, they do. It's got a puffy sleeve, but they're not so massive. And they look like they're gonna be a long sleeve. Well, three quarters to long sleeve. They've got elastic round the cuff here and just lovely little buttons all the way down the front. And they've also got a bit of detailing on the front seam as well, where the buttons are. This lovely little extra bit of detailing. It's quite plain at the back, um, straight down. A lot of Primark things are like that, but I actually really liked it. I bought a couple of blue tops because I bought a pair of trousers and I wanted some stuff to go with them, you know. So I'll show you trousers in a bit. But anyway, that's my first thing. Then I also bought this blue top. Now I got this, what size did I get this in? I bought this in a size 12. I don't know if that might have been a mistake. You know, I don't know if I'm just being optimistic when I bought a size 12. Anyway, it's a short sort of shirt. It's just got a cut off sleeve. It's not got a fitted sleeve. No collar, but it's got like a V-neck and then a pleat at the front here. I just quite like the pattern. I thought it was quite summery. And I used to wear lots of tops like this with like blazer type jackets or a denim jacket over the top. And I'm trying to buy more of that style really as I'm going back down in weight. But, um, you know, I mean, it's a slow process, you know, because I like my food a bit too much, to be honest. Anyway, but like I say, I bought it in the 12. It was £6, which I thought were a bargain, you know. It's slightly longer at the back and it's got a shaped hem at the back as well. But I'm hopeful for it if it fits me all right that is you know it might be too small I should have probably bought a size 14 but you know anyway I've got the 12 we'll see how that works out and then for some reason best known to past Kim I bought another dress but I'm starting to think dresses aren't my thing but I just quite like this one because it were plain black so I bought this in a size 14 it was 15 pounds now, it's a shorter dress, so I would wear it with either a pair of leggings or a pair of jeggings. I wouldn't wear it just on its own because I don't like my legs because they're scarred and they're also lily white, you know. So, with some veins, <laughs> which is what's happened as I've got older, but anyway. So, it's got like a puff sleeve. It's sort of a, quite a short sleeve. I don't think it's three quarter. It's also got elastic around here, but it's got like like a puckery sort of gathery fabric. I don't know what you call that. It's not sea sucker, but it's sort of like that. It's a, it's a nod in that direction, you know. Anyway, the front's a round neck, lower, and the back's got this detail, you know, the hole with the little button on. And it's gathered on at the waist and then shorter. So I, you can probably see the fabric better there. So it's like slightly gathery with a line across it. You know, I sort of thought I'd give it a go. 
you know, what can you do? It, I thought I'd wear it, like I say, as a long top. But I, I, I don't know whether dresses are my thing. So we'll soon find out what, when I go to try it on. You know, anyway, there's that one. Now I've queued up and I've seen this. Oh my days, I just thought it were hilarious. Novelty body sponge. So obviously it's in shape of an avocado. But I just really liked it, you know. It were only £1.50. I do use sponges in shower and things. And I'm happy to get a novelty one, you know. It's got a string on it so you can hang it up in shower as well, which is what I wanted, really. Because I do tend to get more showers than baths. But anyway, just absolutely loved it. I thought it were hilarious. And for £1.50, that's the price I pay for any other sponge, you know, let alone a novelty one. I like that this bit sort of sticks out. Only thing is, it's clear where it's been glued because it's got a little bit of a rough bit here and a little bit of a rough bit round here where they've glued that colour to that colour. But I still think it'll be all right. I could always use that side, you know, because that side's quite soft. But anyway, I love that. I could say £1.50, you know, can't knock it at that, can you? You know, so I'm happy with that one. Then I saw a pair of shoes that I really liked. Okay, I had to get them in a size 8 because they looked quite small, to be honest. I'm a 7 normally, but they're just these lovely black shoes. Now, they had these in a whole load of colours, but I just undoubtedly, I preferred the black. They were, let me have a look at price of these, they were £10. They've just got like a little kit kneel. Now, I don't normally go for kit kneels, but as I've got older, I struggle to wear high heels. I wore loads and loads of super high heels back in the day, and my feet are paying the price for it, really. So, I only like a sort of a smaller heel these days. I've fallen over so many times in high heels. I've smacked my face against the causeway so many blinking times that I've even got a joke for it now. Like when I fall over and I've got a big graze on my face or a big bump on my head or something like that, partial black eye from falling over. I tell people, luckily my face broke me fall, you know. That's how many times I've done it. I've even got the pat answer to people who ask me about it. But anyway, I just loved them. They've just got this strap over here. So there's no strap at the back or anything. So you'd probably be struggling to keep them on to some extent. But I love that they had a square toe as well. Just really liked them. Thought they'd be nice with a pair of black skinnies for going out. You know, because I'm hoping that at some point we can actually go out again. You know, we can live in hopes, can't we? So, like I say, I bought them in an eight because I thought they looked quite small, you know, for a... But it, the seven definitely looked too small for me. I thought they looked more my size. So, I got an eight anyway. I'm happy to wear an eight. As long as I can get a, a shoe that fits my foot, I'm happy with it. Doesn't matter to me what size it is. So, yeah, I really like those. Then I've seen this, but I'm just looking at it now and it looks like it's actually melted and started to drip out. Oh, dear. That's not good because it's been nowhere. It's just been in bags. So I don't know why it's done that. But anyway, it must have got warm. I you know, it's can't be weather, can it? It must have got warm in flat sometime. I really liked it because it's got all these like flowers and things in this like jelly. It's quite soft jelly. Um, but yeah, it's just got a little candle in it. And yet I suppose you could replace the candles with tea lights. But I'm going to have to get all that wax off it there. Summer days scented candle. Not the nicest scented candle I've ever smelled, but it were only three quid. So, yeah, I'm really happy I got that. It's because I like things like this to, you know, a few things, sort of candle holders and things. I do tend to burn quite a lot of candles. My ex-partner used to wait me burning candles. I think he didn't trust me with him, you know. You know, I remember once saying to him, listen, this isn't my first rodeo. I've burnt a candle before, you know, but anyway... So I've got that one, very happy with it, despite the fact that this is sort of melted and stuff. But it'll be okay, I'll sort that out. Three quid, it's all right. So then I bought a couple of t-shirts. Now, I, I don't normally go for Disney style stuff at all. It's not really my thing, I don't like Disney films. I know, go shoot me, but I really, really don't like Disney films. I think I watched too many of them with my kids when they were young, you know, and now I'm a bit past it all. But um, but anyway, I've seen these two little t-shirts. I thought for a fiver, they know. But the only thing is, I've gone and bought them in a small. I don't know why I bought them in a small. Should have bought them in a medium, really. They were a fiver each. So first one is this, which has just got Mickey and Minnie on it, on front. I love the red and the turquoise together. 
it's just a plain white tee other than that just a basic white t-shirt but it's got that nice mickey and minnie mouse detail on it so i'm hopeful that that's gonna fit you know but it might not i, I might sh i should have probably bought a medium and the other one i got also in a blinking small is this one i think i prefer this one it's got a gigantic mickey mouse on front and it is just another plain white t-shirt you know i like a white t-shirt and i don't mind a graphic print on it either if i just wearing them with like jeggings and a and a blazer or something i like that look so this were a fiver as well and like i say i bought it in a small what were i thinking i think i just picked them up without thinking is the truth you know, like sometimes they've got like the small ones at the top and then the medium ones and the larger ones. And I think I just picked up the ones off the top, but I should have got a medium because there's no way I'm a small. For a start, I'm five foot eight and second off, I am a size 14. So these might be too small, but if they are, I'll take them and swap them, I think, if they're nice enough. So yeah, I got a couple of Mickey t-shirts. Then I bought myself these sandals and I couldn't get these in a seven, so I had to get them in an eight. But I suspect they'll be all right, you know. Um, they look a bit more like a size eight than a size seven, really. Not like those other ones that I thought I'd never fit into the seven. But they were only six pound and I quite liked them, you know. I've got a bit of elastic on this band as well, which I liked because that makes it easier to wear them. But I just really liked them. They're completely flat apart from that tiny weeny little bit of an eel. But I love like sliders and things for in the warmer weather. I've got a pair of black ones that look a bit like Birkenstocks that I got from Primark before. But I thought these would be great as a white one, you know, so I can mix it up a little bit. You know, if I want to wear something that's a bit lighter, not black, then I could, I could wear these. And for six quid, I'll be definitely keeping it because I just think they're such good value. You know, so yeah, got those anyway, happy with those. It's been bucketing down for days. I've been wearing cardigans and puffer jackets and stuff because it's been so blinking cold. But I'm still waiting for the summer to wait, you know. Then I seen this vase and I absolutely loved it. I love green and I just thought the design on this, it looks a bit like a succulent, I think. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. It was £3.50 which I didn't think were bad at all. I might mix up, I've got a little vase here and it's sort of a purpley tone, but I think I might mix it up and put that one there. You know, I thought it might match a bit better. Put me uh, fake daffodils and stuff in it, you know, that I got from Home Bargains. That's where I got them. So I thought I'd stick those in. Oh, somebody asked me as well where I got this one from, right? And I forgot to mention it. Um, so this one in this basket, the plan is from B&M, but in the basket I had to buy separately. I can't remember where I got the basket, but the plan itself comes in just a little pot. Uh, it wasn't expensive, but it was from B&M anyway. So yeah, I'm thinking I'll put this one here instead of that vase. I thought I preferred it, to be honest. You know, I thought it'd match on here better. So that's what I got that one for. Very happy with it. Then I bought one of these little sets, right? I won't show you it too much, but it's just like a bralette and a pair of pants. And they do these in all different colours. I just wanted to show you because they're such good value. I've got these in almost every blinking colour they've had out. They're a fiver for a little bralette and a pair of pants. Now, because I don't have much of a chest, bralettes are fine for me it's not like i'm holding up sort of quite a big chest i'm very flat chested even in this right this is a padded bra and i mean honestly i'm as flat as a pancake you know so i quite like a little bralette and pants and like i say these are a fiver they've got them in loads of colors they're really comfy and they're really good value i think the wash fine as well so i've got loads of different colors of them but i thought i'd just briefly if you see you see, see what i did there briefly showing me briefs anyway next up i got this uh, black top right now it's very creasy on the front look there but it's got these lacy sleeves now i don't know why i thought this might suit me but i thought i'd give it a go you know like i say it's just black and then just the only details like the lacy sleeve it's like a t-shirt front and back this was i bought this in a medium it were eight pounds so that's quite a lot i suppose for what it is it's just got a round neck at the front like that i'm a bit worried i might look like winnie the witch in it but you know we'll give it a go anyway i thought i'd mix it up a little bit try some different stuff you know 
Then I got some stuff for the boys. Right, so I bought them both a pair of shorts. I just loved them. They're just these little denim shorts. Sorry, they clipped together. Um, I bought them in a size three to four and a one and a half to two. But they're just matching ones. And the bigger ones were a five. Oh, they were both a fiver. But I didn't think that were bad for a pair of denim shorts. And you can mix that with, with a load of stuff. I buy them t-shirts regularly and stuff. And I'm sure they've got their own. You know, that um, my daughter or the dad's bought them. So I just thought I'd get them an extra pair of shorts. Because I just really liked them. I like this bleachy thing. I like that they were turned up. I mean, they're actually hemmed. So you could have them longer if you wanted but I just loved them. They've got proper pockets on them and stuff. I thought they'd look dead cute in those. So I got them those. And then my daughter had mentioned that they didn't have a pair of swimming trunks because, right, the older boy, right, so he is coming up four, nearly four now, um, but he's very slim. But because then, then the baby is coming up for two, right? Now, the thing is, if you think about their lifespan and everything that's been going on, there's only the older boy that's ever been to swimming baths, you know, because everything's been closed. The last time he went to swimming baths, shorts won't fit him. So I thought I'd get him both a little pair of swim shorts. They were £2.50. They're both £2.50. Yeah, they were both £2.50 and I got them the same ones. And they're just these ones that have got little turtles all over them in turquoise. So they've got a stretchy waist and then they've got this sort of meshing in them like you'd expect on a pair of swim shorts they had these in loads of different designs but i loved these ones so i thought you know I've, i'll get them those and then if my daughter or uh, the dad wants to take them swimming you know once everything's opened and stuff they've got those and i thought for two pound fifty each that's brilliant i bought them in like i say one and a half to two and a three to four because that'll fit and that's the sizes they are because the you know the four-year-old is quite slim then I bought myself some more bits. So I bought, this is the other blue top that I bought to go with these trousers. I'm going to show you in a bit. Now I bought this in a 12 because it looked like it were a bit oversized, you know. So it's got like a three quarter, it might be a long sleeve. It looks like a three quarter, but because it's wider, that could end up being a long sleeve. I'm not sure really. It's in like um, a polyester sort of, fabric and it's just got a v-neck at the front but then it's got this lovely knotted detail i'm hoping that that disguises my biggest bit because my the way my shape is i'm i've got a small bust small lips but quite big round my tummy area so it's quite difficult to get stuff to hide that you know sometimes and i sort of hoped that this knot detail might sort of disguise that a little bit anyway it's plain at the back and just in this really pretty sort of light blue colour. And then I'll show you what I got these to go with. So I've seen this pair of trousers. Right, now I don't normally go for pattern trousers at all, ever. Right, but I'm trying to mix it up a bit, you know. Try new things and all that. But I was so scared that they were going to be too small on me. I bought a 16. If they, and they were only £10. If these are too big on me, I'll take them back and swap them. But I just wanted to try them out. They've got a very straight sort of leg. You know, it's sort of narrow leg it goes into. I think they'll probably be like an ankle grazer on me. They've got a black button at the front and a zip. So they are a proper trouser. Have they got pockets? No, it's stitched shut. So it's pretend pockets there. Um, no pockets at the back. So it's plain across the back. But I'm just hoping that they look all right, just so that I can mix it up a little bit. So I got two different blue tops to try with these, see if they work out for me. So fingers crossed for those ones. It's a bit of a risk, because like I said, I don't normally go for this sort of thing at all. But you know, if I'm not going to try it now, when am I going to try it? You know, what am I going to do? Wait till I'm in my 60s. Not that far off, you know. So yeah, I thought I'd give those a go. And then I bought this top and this is another risk for me because it's a narrow one. But I, I was sort of hoping with it being like this stretchy, like um, gathered fabric that it might work out for me. I bought it in a 14, it were £11. It's got an eye neck, but it's also got buttons so you can open it at the front. It's got a little frill detail around the sleeve and then it's all gathered on this elasticy stuff and a little frill at the bottom. 
I mean, it's really pretty little yellow flowers as well, but it is a complete risk because this is not the style that I normally go for because of me, because I carry my weight around my middle. You know, I've got a wide middle. It may make me look like a barrel, you know, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. It might be terrible, but I'll show you whatever, you know. And then I bought this little cardigan. Now, I've had these cardigans all the time. I love them. Right, you can get them in a V-neck and you can get them in a round neck. This is a V-neck and I prefer the V-neck, if I'm honest. They are just little fine sort of knit cardigans with a long sleeve. They've always got these button details, but the buttons vary depending on which sort of style you get and which cardigan you get. And they've got a little split on the cuff. They're so soft and they wash really well. It, they only cost £5.50. I got this in a medium. Now, I've got quite a few of these in a large, but they're getting a bit big on me now, and I like them to be sort of fitted. You know, I don't like them to be more sort of, to be looser. I do like them more fitted. Now, I used to get them in a small, but, I mean, there's no way I'd get into a small now. So, I got them in a medium. Like I say, I've had them in large, small, and now I'm medium. So all different sizes, but I really liked it. The, what I liked most about this one with the colour, because it's this turquoisey colour. I love that colour, you know. I really do. Next to green, this back might be my favourite colour. But yeah, like I say, £5.50 each and they wash to death. I mean, I've got some that I've had like two years now and they're still washing and looking okay. So they are a good card eh? and for £5.50, you know, it's no, is it? Then I bought a couple of white or oh, like off-white tops. So this one is very much white and it's like a shirt, but I bought it in an oversized sort of style, you know. Oh, I bought it in a 16 and it were 11 pound. I don't think they had this in a 14. I think that's why I went for 16, but I thought it was a sort of shirt that I wouldn't mind it being oversized on me. So it's like got a shorter sleeve, but because it's oversized, that'll come longer, you know. It's got this cuff detail. And then the front is, it's a collar and buttons all the way down the front and quite long. And the back, it's got this stitched in uh, panel sort of detail at the bottom. So a nice little detail at the back. This one... £11, like I say, and I bought it in a size 16. Now, it's very see-through, but I've got some nude bras and stuff, so I might wear it with a nude bra, you know. So, I'm going to try that one, see what it works. I see how it works out for me. Because I'd wear that over maybe a pair of black leggings or jeggings, something like that. And then my last one is this top that I got which I bought in a size small and it were £8. What I liked about it was this knot at the front because I'm hoping again that disguises my tummy area. But because it were really oversized, I got it in the small because I don't want it to be so massively oversized and have loads and loads of fabric, you know. So yeah, £8 this one. It's it's thicker than you imagine, really. It's not so see-through, you know. I've had stuff before from Primark that have been considerably more see-through than this. So, yeah, so that's my last one. So I'll insert the try-ons now. Obviously not my underwear. I'm not, I'm not trying on my underwear. Nobody needs to see that. So, yeah, this is the first one. I've just put it on with a pair of my jeggings that I already have. I got these from Asda, from George Asda. Um, but I really like this shirt. I don't mind it at all. I know it's very oversized, but I think it's, I think the movement on it is helping to disguise my roll around my middle, you know, my fattest bit around my middle because there's quite a lot of fabric and I quite like it. I think this is a way I could wear white shirts, you know, rather than like a shirt dress. I like this. I could see me wearing this and wanting to go out in it through a day, you know. So I'm quite happy with it, you know. But I haven't seen the footage, so as I always say, so we'll see how I look, you know, and what everybody else thinks. But I do quite like it. Not bad at all for a first start. So that's that one. So this is the little blue top. I actually feel like this is okay. It feels like it's uh, that I am, I probably could have really done with the 14 in this, 
but I don't mind it. It is okay. It fits all right. It's not tight or anything, you know. Um, it, it's just when I put my arms forward, it feels a bit like it's digging in here. But I actually quite like the style of it, you know. I probably wear this with like a, a blazer over the top. Maybe the white blazer that I got, you know. So I don't mind it at all. It's a very basic sort of top, but I don't mind that about it. Feels okay. You know, there's room in it. Like I say, I probably could have done with a 14, not a 12. But um, yeah, it's all right. Not bad for the price, certainly. So, but let me know what you think, please. So that's that one. Okay, so this is the black one. Now, I won't wear it over the over denim coloured uh, jeggings. I'll probably wear it over a pair of black ones, you know, pair it with that. Um, I like the sleeves, but I'm just not sure. Uh, some people had left me comments saying that it would better for me to have colour. But I, as a t-shirt, you know, it's a, a little top. I don't mind it, you know. I, but I'm not sure. Not sure if it's a bit witchified, you know, like I ought to be casting spells or, you know, flying on a broomstick or something like that. You know, I have a wart on my nose and that kind of thing. So I'm not sure. It feels very comfortable. It feels quite nice on. I don't mind the way, you know, anything about it, the way it feels. It's just how it looks, really. Just how I cut my jeggings. So, not sure. Is the colour too dark on me? Is the design not really any good for me? I'm not sure. I really need some advice on this one please so yeah that's that one <laughs> yeah i never know you know i really never know what they're gonna look like on it's like styling somebody else's body really but anyway so that's that one and then this is the black dress now i would wear it as a top not as a dress i would never wear bare legs with something like this short but I, um, I don't know. I sort of hoped it, it wouldn't have quite so much gather on. I sort of thought it was going to be a bit sort of straighter down. And I'm not sure whether all this gather around what is my fattest bit is drawing attention to my problem area, you know. Also, I'm not sure whether the puff sleeves in combination with the flary skirt is too young for me. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I like this one. You know, I don't. I don't think I like this at all. Really, I. I don't think I feel comfortable in it. I don't think this would be something that I would probably reach for. It, had it been less gathered, or the sleeves had been straighter, one or the other, you know. But the combination of this big puffy sleeve and this gathered skirt is making me feel a bit like there's just too much going on. You know, I'd rather have a more classic piece, I think, than this uh, dress. I mean, it feels really comfortable. It's, uh, you know, the fabric's really nice. I love this sort of gathering on it, but I just, you know, the gathering in the style of the fabric, it's just, I just think there's too much going on. So, hmm. Not, not for me, I don't think, this one. And then there's this one. <laughs> Which is an out and out no from me. Oh my days. Yeah, this is not something I would ever want to put on. It, I feel like my arms look, you know, quite sort of... Oh, well, I mean, let's just forget the arms. What is happening around here? You know, it just is emphasising everything that I spend my life trying to disguise, you know, which is my problem area here. So, yeah, I, this is an out and out no from me. I cannot wait to take this off. So, yeah, I don't need any advice on this. Thank you. If you all want to have a right good laugh at it, you know what I mean? That's fine. But I, this is a no. And then this is Mickey Mouse. 
So we should go in a medium, I think. It fits in a small, but you know, it's not leaving a right lot to the imagination. So yeah, I like it, but like I say, it's very, very, you know, it is the smallest size that I could possibly have put on. It feels okay on. It don't, it's not tight or anything. It's just, I think I might have uh, benefited from a bit more fabric around the middle. But while I've got this on, I'm going to try the little cardigan on. Okay, so this is the little cardigan. Now, I love these cardigans. Not necessarily over a red sort of t-shirt, but I do like it. And I can imagine it over, you know, other t-shirts. It would look all right. I think they're just so versatile, these. I love the detail in here. They are very long sleeved, so you can wear them long. Uh, or you can push them up, you know, it's possible to do that. They've got enough stretch in them. But I can imagine taking this out with me. You know, there's such good value for 550. I can just imagine taking this cardigan in my bag for if it got cold at any point. You know, like I say, perhaps not over this T-shirt, but over some of my other T-shirts that I've got, a plain white one or something like that. You know, I think it would look all right. So, um, but let me know what you think, because I, you know, I am a cardigan kind of woman. I don't mind a cardi at all. You know, as I've got older, you know, it was going through menopause that did it, having to take them off and on and off and on the old time as my temperature sort of went up and down that I um, have got used to wearing them now. And I sort of have never gone back really. So, you know, once you go cardi, you never go back. So um, I, I quite like this and I think I probably get quite a lot of wear out of it. And I'm aware that it's probably not the most exciting item of clothing, but it's certainly very versatile. So yeah, it's what you, it's what you think about whether I should size up on the t-shirt um, and what you think about the cardi really, you know. I'm happy to size up on it. I don't mind what size I am, it's whether you know, I feel comfortable whether things look all right. That's my sort of issue, really. So anyway, I'll try the other t-shirt on. This is the other little t-shirt. I'm less keen on this. I preferred it when the design were further down, just because it sort of disguised this bit that I've got going on. But I probably would wear it with a blazer over the top, a pair of like chunky trainers, white trainers, and yeah wear it like this so it's you know for all it's doing this around my problem area I, I I'd sort of cover it over a little bit with this but I, like I say I'm less keen on this t-shirt much prefer the other one with the design lower down and I'll remember that in future you know that the design needs to come quite far down you know because it helps to disguise what's going on there you know so so yeah, that's the other Mickey t-shirt. But there's such good value at a fiver, you know, for a Disney t-shirt. It's not bad at all, is it, that? So that's that one. And then this is the little cream top with the um, tie detail. Now, it's lovely and loose, which means that it's not clinging to my, you know, my problem area either. But I'm not sure whether the size is right, whether it... I don't know. Please let me know what you think. Is it a bit droopy? You know, it'd be nicer if it was sort of slightly higher, maybe. I don't know. I'll show you the back. So that's the back. Yeah. I like the tie detail. I love the V-neck. I really like a V-neck, you know. So I think it's quite nice. Feels lovely on. The fabric feels really nice and cool and, you know, not, it, I don't feel like it'd be too hot on me over the warm weather, but I, I'm still determined we're getting, you know. So, yeah, quite like this one, you know, but I haven't seen the footage. So, but let me know what you think, please. Yeah, that's that one. Okay, so these are the trousers. Um, yeah, I, they fit all right. They're quite short in the leg. So yeah, the more ankle grazers. 
I've got loads of room in them, you know, loads of room, but um, but that means they're not digging in around my problem area, you know. Um, I don't mind them, I, I like them better than I thought I would, but do I look like Rupert Bear? You know, that's always a concern, isn't it? You know, because that's not, for all I loved Rupert as a child, he's not exactly a fashion icon, is he, you know? So, um, yeah, but I don't mind them. And this is the shirt. Let me just take that thread off. Um, yeah, this is a shirt. I really like the shirt. I don't mind that it's high neck because you can open it at the front, you know. I love the sleeves on it. They feel really nice. Um, and it's a cottony fabric. I like this sort of crochet style. Well, it's broadly angle detailing on it. It's nice without it being too, too much, you know. So that's the back. Yeah, what we're thinking. I've got another blue top that I'm gonna try with it. And I bought, I deliberately bought blue ones because of the blue line in these gray checky trousers. So I'll try the other blue top on. Okay, so this is the other one. I really like this shirt. Um, yeah, I mean, it's only just fitting. It, it, I couldn't, you know, it's, it, uh, thankfully I'm on my way down in weight, not on my way up in weight, because otherwise this would get very snug very quickly. But I really like it, you know. The only problem is this bit round the here, sort of you have to make sure that you've tucked it in properly because otherwise it pops out. But I actually don't mind this top. I'm not sure whether this top goes with these trousers. I'm not sure, but I do like it. What I love about it is that it's high up at the front and then low down at the back, you know, without any effort. You're not having to tuck it or faff around with it. It is just that style and it would stay like that through a day. And I find this knot bit is making it look like my tummy is actually the knot. It's not the knot, if you see what I mean. It's actually my tummy. But it's sort of, I find, I think it might be disguising it. Although it might be emphasising it, it might be pointing at it or going, here, here's a problem area, you know. But I actually really like this shirt. And I don't think I mind it with these trousers either. But, um... But please let me know what you think. Whether you think I ought to keep these trousers sized down in them, you know, they are quite big, but the, it is helping that they're not digging in around the middle, you know. Sometimes I have to get things in a, a, the bigger size so that they don't dig in around the middle. So yeah. It's a bit of a mixed bag, but those are all me Primark clothes. Hiya, so you've seen the try-ons now. I like some of them and not so much others. I won't go through the housewares and things like that about what I'm keeping because I'm basically keeping them all and I'm keeping the shoes as well. Um, but as far as the clothes go, let me put my gigs back on. I really like these trousers. I just wish I'd bought them in the 14. So if you think, you know, if you leave me any comments about them and you think these look all right, I might go back and get these in the 14 just because I think it'd, it'd be a better fit, really. But it's whether I look like Rupert. You know, as I said, I'm slightly concerned that that might be what I look like, you know, which is, you know, not an attractive look. But if they're all right, and what I didn't tell you as well is they've got belt loops, so you could actually wear a belt with them. So I think they're a good, you know, they're a good price at 10 quid. And I think I might swap them, you know, for a 14, depending on what everybody says about them. The two shirts, I quite like both of these. I think this is my favourite, this one here. I like that a lot because I do think it, it sort of felt like it were disguising my tummy, you know. So I quite like that. I think for the price, nine quid, I'm going to keep that one, you know. I think it's all right. But that'll depend on the footage and what everybody says. But I quite like this one. And I don't mind this one. I prefer the other, but I don't mind this I really like the colour. Do you know there's threads all over this? Right, I really like the colour and I think it might be all right. But, you know, I probably need advice on that one. The white shirt, I think, is too big for me. But I do like the style of it. So I might go back and see whether I can get that in a 14. You know, if it, if it looks all right. Quite like it. 
likewise i quite like this one i don't like it as much you know the one with the knot on i don't like it as much as i like the blue one with the knot but i don't mind it at all you know so it's what 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 people think of those will determine whether I'm keeping those, whether I swap that one for the white one for a smaller size. But yeah, they're okay. I don't mind them. This thing is an absolute no. Right, it's an absolute no from me. I think if you've got like an hourglass shape or you're slim or whatever, right, you've got a bigger bust, that might look really nice on you. But on me, that is just emphasising everything that I spend my life trying to hide. So, sadly, that's a no from me, you know. Well, not sadly, I'll be glad to see the back of it, to be honest. And I'll be horrified looking at the footage as well, right? I, I know I will, but anyway. The T-shirts, I don't know whether to size up in these. I don't mind this one with the bigger design on, like I said. But this one, I felt very uncomfortable in that. I just didn't like the way that that sort of looked. Because it were almost like it finishing there drew attention to what were underneath it and that what's underneath it is you know is my worst or my most problem area my biggest problem area so i don't i don't like this in this size but it's whether you think it's worth sizing up in that and probably sizing up in this one as well getting a medium you know because i'm not a small am i so anyway i think i might have to size up in both of those but it's whether i actually bother with this one you know and likewise, this, really like this, but it's whether I ought to get a bigger size because I think a bigger size might be more flattering. You know, it's only six quid, but I sort of wish I'd bought it in a 14. You know, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I were hoping that, I were, I, that this would fit rather than actually thinking it would. So I quite like it, but it's whether, I, whether it's nice enough to size up because I definitely don't think the 12 fits me, you know. This dress is an absolute no from me. And I think thereby, right, the, the demise of the dress, as far as I'm concerned, might be complete with this outfit, you know, this dress. Because I just don't think they suit me. You know, I really, really don't. I think there's just too much fabric around what is already my problem area, you know. So I think that's going back. I love the cardigan. Absolutely love it. And... I know it's not the most stylish thing in the world, but I do think that they wash, wash so well and they're, so good, they're such good value that I probably will keep that, you know. And each time I'm in, I'll look for some more colours, you know, that I like in these. Because sometimes the colours are awful, but other times they're really nice, you know. And last up, this. As I feared, I, fe I think I look like Winnie the Witch in it, you know. Like I ought to have a broomstick or something. You know, and also it's black. And so I'm not sure about this. I think this probably go back, you know. It's good value, I think. But it's just, yeah, I just don't know that that's doing anything. I felt like I'd got wings or something, you know. Wings as well as looking witchy. So, yeah. So that's all of my clothes. Um, oh, the other things I'll be keeping, I'll be taking the stuff for the boys and things next time I see them. Because hopefully I'll get to see them soon, you know, with everything sort of lifting and what have you. But, um, but yeah, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box, along with my Instagram, if you want to go follow us on that. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!